Okay, when you're building plastic model kits, one of your most important tools in the box is your sprue cutter. So the sprue cutter is basically a way to cut the pieces off the trees in a plastic kit in such a way as that you don't break them or distort them or do any other damage to them. So you, 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 know, you can use an X-Acto knife, but depending on the part and the angle you cut it on, you have a problem with possible breakage. And when you're a kid and you built your first model, you probably twisted them until they came off. Well, doing that leaves a big exit hole on it when you get it off the sprue. We don't want that. So sprue cutters basically start, you know, at a, a rudimentary model for $14.98. It'll certainly do the job. It'll take it off. And then they go up in price depending on brand, quality, the type of blade you get. But then we go extreme. We get into things like God Hands. These are very good selling single edged nippers for plastic. They come with their own little pouches, leather pouches, and they're considered the best. And that price indicates that. They run, you know, from $75 to $100, depending on which model you get. Then we have other pretenders to the throne, like the Dispay. As you can see, it looks very similar to a God Hand. And they all feature these little tightening adjustments to, to vary the closing of your uh, nipper. So that's all well and good, and we sell lots of all of these kinds. But now, we have a new pretender to the throne. We have a new single edge cutter with adjustment from Master Tool, which is a division of Trumpeter Models. And this sucker comes in at $25.98. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go to the monthly Gunpla model build meeting, and we're going to see what the guys think about these. And let you know what the results are. So continuing on with our talk about nippers, we got Dave here who actually uses the high-end nippers. He's going to compare the God Hand with the Tamiya and with the new Master Tool. Let's see what Dave thinks about them. Yeah, so I've been building Gunpla for about six years now. I started off with these Tamiyas, then moved on to the God Hands as an upgrade. And uh, usually I use the Tamiya for a first clip and then finish it closer with the God Hand. And uh, I'm going to try out these trumpeters that just came out. So. Now the God hands are that good, eh? You find they're that much better it's, than it's, everything it's a, it's a clean cut, because sometimes you put stress marks, and it just, it's really annoying. Okay. And really the only way to uh, get rid of the stress mark is painting. Right? Okay. Because people ask me, you know, like, you know, the price of these is 75 to to $100 for a God hand, and they go, are they really that worth it? Yeah. And you say, yes, they are. Yeah. So for people who are new to, like, building, usually you want, you want to clip at the on top of the nub and then go closer mm -hmm. um, I usually don't go this close but for this demonstration yeah I'll go a little bit closer like this yeah okay. they really get in there so this is, these are the Tamiya's you can see a little bit of stress marks there okay yeah so it's all about the stress mark after you cut okay yeah and the, the god hand can do a I find the god hands can do a really good cut where like you don't really need to do much sanding or work after that because okay. it's so clean wow And it just, it just feels like it's cutting butter compared to the Tamiya's. Okay. Yeah. Now I know a guy that actually managed to break his god hands. Yes, they are kind of de delicate because if you look at the nipper, like yeah. the blades, like just the comparison, right. like it's so much thicker on the Tamiya compared to the god hand. Okay. And do you think he did something like he cut a big thick piece of sprue with his really fine god hands and, you know? Yeah. And you, you don't want to, you don't want to, sometimes you don't want to clip uh, really thick pieces near the top edge of it. You mm -hmm. want to go deeper down, right? Okay. So if I if I just like try to do like this part of the sprue, it's not good for the god hand. No. Like, just like that. I feel bad for the guy. Like you know, a hundred dollar pair of nippers, and he just wrecked them. I'm like, hey. Oh yeah, look at that. And where's those stress marks? I don't see any. Like the t the Tamiya's I have are good too, but like you can see more white. Yeah, there's there is a difference. You can see yeah. a difference there. So let's try to, we'll try okay, so let's see what our master tools look yeah. like. Do a similar part. Okay, so far it feels like the in between of the two, okay. like not as smooth as the God Hand, but definitely smoother than the Tamiya's. All right. Um, also, the thing about the ta the God Hands that are well known is that it's a single. Mm -hmm. uh, bladed nipper, so the one you're cutting with 
the, the thinner blade. Okay. And th this one's just for like resistance and cutting, holding it in. Whereas the Tamiya is like it's a double bladed nipper. Okay. And the trumpeter claims it's a single as well. Yeah, on it the doesn't, package it does. It doesn't seem as like much as the God Hand. Okay. Like the the both blades kind of look similar thickness. Okay. So, from my opinion, maybe that's why I felt kind of so the in between of the two. Okay. I definitely felt more of a snap with the trumpeter. Okay. It, it, uh, this, the result kind of seems more similar to the Tamiya, to be honest with you. Okay. I'll do one more on this piece here. Okay. That's so, just a demonstration for people who want to do like a quick build. Usually, I would cut this n nub right right here. Right. And then I'll have a little bump to just clean off with my hobby knife and sanding sponges. Sanding sponges, yeah. Yeah. But okay. uh, it, it it does it, it's a good it's a good nipper like I like if I if it's cheaper than Tamiya's I would consider uh, the trumpeter <laughs> trumpeter over Tamiya but you still can't beat a god hand you still can't beat the god hand god no. it saves me one. it still saves me a lot of time and uh, fun fact about the god hands is that they started out as uh, products for manicures and uh, hobbyists just discovered that they're just really good for the hobby and then they transitioned. Seems to be a way of a lot of things. A lot of the nail files, a lot of the uh, Komodo pigments, things like yeah. that. It all comes from a, another use that we've done for a hobby. Yeah. Well, Dave, I really appreciate that. Thanks. You're a guy that uses them all and you're able to give us a fair assessment. So, good price point, decent nipper. It's no god hand, but maybe we don't all need god hands. So, you have to make a choice.